Welcome to the Interbotics LocoBot Hardware Setup Guide. Let's get started. First, untape the network cable from the base. The tower mounts to the create base using four lock posts and four lock tabs as shown. Next, we're going to thread it through the hole at the bottom of the base of the tower. After that, set the base of the tower on top of the create. The front half moon will be off center counterclockwise from the sensor, as shown. Rotate clockwise until you feel a click. Once the tower is locked onto the base, run your network cable through the back and plug it into the nook. Grab the base of your LocoBot, the second largest Allen key provided, three M5 by 12 screws, and the three extruded black aluminum bars. Find the three holes on the back of the base plate and begin screwing in the aluminum bars. Leave a little slack in the screws to allow proper alignment of the sensor tower in the next step. Once all three bars are secured, grab the sensor tower. Make sure you are aware of the three slots on the underside of the sensor tower's base. Place the sensor tower on top of the three aluminum bars. Using three more M5 by 12 screws, secure the sensor tower to the aluminum bars. Make sure to tighten the screws at the base as well. If you bought a LiDAR sensor, cut the tie holding its USB cables. Grab two cable clips and run the cable down the front channel of the top right aluminum bar like so. Clip the cable to the front of the bar. Continue running the cable down the back channel of the right aluminium bar. Clip the USB adapter to the middle of the bar and the rest of the cable to the bottom of the bar. This is the data cable. This is the power cable. Take the thick data cable and insert it into the USB port on the right side of the Intel Nook. Wrap the thin power cable around the LocoBot's base and insert it into the 2.1 amp USB port on the left side of the battery. Next, run the two depth camera cables down the left aluminium bar. Make sure to leave enough slack for camera servo movement. The braided servo cable goes down the inside channel and through the inside tower base cutout. The USB cable goes down the back channel and through the back tower base cutout. Use four clips to secure the cables. Take the braided servo cable and insert it into any of the open ports on the power hub located on the left side of the LocoBot. Finally, insert the depth camera USB cable into the left side of the Intel Nook located next to the power hub. Congratulations, your LocoBot is now set up. Check the link in the description for the software guide to begin mapping, navigating and manipulating.